going to do divide me do one sorry divide me do three sam project one a basically this is the third section of this course i will do this in a step by step you can try to understand the process completely here if you want me to do this assignment for you or if you want me to do this complete course for you including all the excel assignments all the word assignments all the powerpoint assignments you can contact me either through whatsapp or email so this is the module 3 sam project 1a glen brook city planning division enhancing our report so getting started with the assignment we are supposed to download this uh, document and i have already downloaded this document and we will apply all the instructions all the required steps to this document and will make this file in the final form for the submission so there is nothing else to do in this section main part of the assignment is starting from the project steps and total steps to solve in this assignment are 10 we are supposed to solve 10 steps in this assignment so let's move to step 1 of the assignment you are a member of the glen brook city planning division and are completing the final draft of the division report on a neighborhood development project start by using the navigation pane to format heading and refine the organization of the document as follows so part a of step 1 is demode the areas of study heading so that it is uses the head and two style this one we are supposed to demode this so that it uses the it uses the heading 2 as style so we will move to the document and first we are supposed to open the navigation pane to demote this so for this we will go to the view tab and in view tab we can see this navigation pane okay so now we are supposed to demote the areas of the study so i will right click on it and i will click on demote okay so that is all about part a so part b is promote the next steps heading so that it use the heading one cell style so next steps there are then this as this is the next steps so i will click right click on it and we will click on promote so it is heading one cell start so this is all about step number 1 of this assignment so we are done with first step and now we going to do next step of the assignment that is part 2 or step 2 <clears throat> so step 2 is on page 2 in the blank paragraph in the urban village design section insert an format and informative diagram as follows insert the basic van smart art from the relationship section of the smart art gallery on page 2 in the blank paragraph so let me go to the page 2 this is page 1 and this is page 2 and this is the blank paragraph and urban village design blank paragraph and we are supposed to insert basic van smart art from the relationship section of the smart art gallery so we will click on the insert tab and let me look for the smart art here is smart art and we are supposed to look in the relationship gallery so this is the relationship gallery and we are supposed to look for basic van
So this is the basic van picture or smart art graphic. So we are supposed to insert this one. We will select this one. And after selecting, just click OK. And you can see that smart art graphic has been inserted in the urban village design section of this document. And now, <coughs> part B, enter the text shown in figure one into the smart art with each word displaying in separate smart art shape. So we are supposed to insert this housing. Here we are supposed to insert housing. Housing. Then second one is the zoning. Zoning. Housing. Zoning. And the transist. Transit. <coughs> so I have inserted the transit as well. So that is part B. So next is part C. Resize the smart art to a height of 2.4 and width of 5. So we will make the height to 2.4. Height should be 2.4 and width should be 5. Sorry. Height should be 2.4 and width should be 5. So that is all about step number two. So I am done with step number two of the assignment as well. And now I will move to next step that is step number three. Step number three is in the blank paragraph in the designated funding section using the funding received by inserting a table with three columns and four rows and then entering the data in shown table one. So we will go to the designated funding section, this one, and we are supposed to insert a table here that should have three columns and one, two, three, four rows. So we will click on the insert table, insert and click table and click on insert table. So there should be three columns and four rows for this one. Now we are supposed to insert the data into this table. So I will start copying from here and I will be pasting the head. I am simply copying the data from the table. Now the third column <coughs> and the third
So I have copied all the data from the table and pasted in the table in the document and that was all about step number three. So we are done with three steps of the assignment. So now we're going to do next step, that is step number four. So step number four is, Formate the table as follows to suit the design of the document. Apply the grid table, five dark accent one table style. So we are supposed to apply this table style that is grid table five dark accent one. So we will select the table, we will go to the design tab, go to the grid table five dark accent one. Grid table five dark accent one. This is the table set that we are supposed to apply. Then remove the first column table style option. So we are supposed to remove the first column table style option. So go to the table design and sorry layout and please select the first column. Where is the first column? Here. Remove this first column. So that was all about step number four. So we are done with four steps of the assignment. And now we are going to do next step that is step number five. And step number five is on page three, make the following changes to the table after the additional funding heading so that the table is easier to interpret. So sort the table in descending order by the code column. So let me go to the table, slide the table, go to the home tab, where is the sort? Layout tab and sort. We are supposed to sort the table and sending order by the good column. Which table is okay? It is talking about this table. So we will select this one. Sort by the good column in ascending order. Click OK. And then next thing to do is in the blank cell of the table, insert a formula that sums the values to the left using the 0% number format. Here. So we are supposed to use a formula here. That sum, sorry, sum the values left. Okay. And zero percent. Number So that is all about step uh, from the five part B. Now resize the column A to its best fit position. Column A is here. And we are supposed to resize this to best, best 
Red position. Okay, where is the resize the column? Column best fit position. Or we can double click here as well. Yeah. So that is all about step number five. So I have completed five steps for you out of the 10 steps in this video. That is 50% of the assignment. So if you want me to do this complete assignment for you, or if you want me to do this complete course for you, my WhatsApp number and email is given in the, at the bottom of the screen. You can hire me either through WhatsApp or email. And you can make a deal for your complete course. Thank you so much for watching my video. I will get back to you with another video. Thank you so much again.